Hey everybody, this is Paul with Simple Dim, and today we're going to learn about units and precision using the Simple Dim PowerPoint plugin application. We're going to go ahead and start with just a slide, and we'll start with a linear dimension already applied on the slide so that you can see how this works. Right now our scale isn't set, so the line just shows two inches as the length. We're going to go up and set a scale, say that our scale is one slide inch equals 200 feet. We confirm that the scale is set, and now we know that our dimension line will, once we change and drag the handles, it registers the scaled length in units that we just gave it. But what if we want to change that? What if we, instead of feet, we want miles, or for our example, yards? Well, what we can do is go up to the ribbon, click on our settings, and there are a couple of measurements on units for linear and area units. So this is where we can change. We've got the scale set, it shows us what the scale currently is. One pinch per PowerPoint inch is 200 feet. Our linear units are in decimal feet. And we're going to go ahead and change to yards for the example. So now the scale and the units, the scale is the same, but the units have been changed to yards. So if I go and I click and I drag my dimension handle, it now reads 131 yards, which is the scaled distance and newly unitized distance for this dimension. So that's pretty handy if you wanted to change up to miles, for example. We could easily do that as well. We can go ahead and drag this so it registers your miles. Well, that's because our precision is low, so we're going to change our precision to a higher precision. Two decimal places, and let's go ahead and redrag our handles, and it shows us 0.4 miles is the distance, the scale distance and unitized distance on the screen. There's another application for unit change too. In this case, we will go ahead and we will grab, make a quick area dimension as an example. So we'll find the area of this shape and find the area. It tells us an area in inches squared. Well, that's not really convenient. So we'll go ahead and we want to look at say acres. So we just go ahead and change our area units to acres and you'll see that now on the screen, this area tells me that we've got 13.17 acres. Now, again, if we wanted to go and change the, the precision, we could go ahead and do that. And it will tell it, change the precision of the figures that are reported on the screen for the dimensions. And that's it. That's how you change your units and level of precision for your measurements in Simple Dim.